solution. While solving the sum of final accounts, we will always make trading and profit and loss account and the balance sheet. Students, as you may recall, the balance sheet is not an account but is a financial statement. First, we shall make the trading and profit and loss account. On top of this account, we write in the books of Catherine and below that trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2011. We then divide the page into two halves and make three columns on each side. Particulars column and two amount in rupees columns. On the top left side of this account we write debit and on the top right side we will write credit. Next we shall prepare the balance sheet. The balance sheet is also divided into two parts and both halves have three columns each. On the left side we have the liabilities column along with two amount in rupees columns and on the right hand side we have the assets column with two amount in rupees columns.